myself out of You see me? Yep. You see me over here? Yep. Hey, I want to let you know that our show is expanding a little bit. We got uh, actually a crew now, a whole crew of one guy. He's a neighbor. He's uh, going to be the cameraman. He thinks he's a freaking Scorsese, so you're waiting for the good, the good uh, shots we're going to get. This is the uh, recipe. We got the freaking lemons, like a two. We got the freaking escarole, we got the sage, and then we got some olive oily, and then you got the, you know, the prosciutto. Don't get the cheap stuff, you know what I mean? Your grandma will be embarrassed. Then you got the chicken stock, you got some white wine, you get a little butter, you get some chicken, you gotta have a freaking chicken. Then you get salt and pep. If you want a little red pepper flake, you get a little red pepper flake. And then you have some flour to dust on that chicken, okay? So here we go. All right, so anyway, this is our, uh, this is our presentation over here. We get the overhead cam we're gonna cover. You know, we got ourselves some some fresh sage. Like I say, don't get the stuff in the bottle. Get the freaking fresh stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Let's just throw that over here. You know what I'm talking about? And then we got some fresh prosciutto. Now, you know, when you get a prosciutto, you gotta get the stuff that's a really high quality. You don't get the cheap shit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create the, uh, the sage. And then you just, as usual, just break away the break away all the stems. All right. So you're gonna chop this up, and then you're gonna put it in the fry pan, which we're gonna do later, and we're gonna roast that through. Get a little wilted. Number one, it smells amazing. You're gonna sit back and you're gonna have this romantic evening with your wife, and she's gonna be saying, you know what Sage does to me. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. So we chop, chop, chop. And then we got the prosciutto, which we're gonna do for the chicken. And then we're gonna we're gonna take a break, and we're gonna get back to you, okay? Remember, this is a chicken and escarole, all right? But you're gonna start with the chicken, okay? Now the chicken is important, all right? You want to get yourself a nice breast. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I know, boys. We all want to get a nice breast. But here's what we're talking about: a real chicken, okay? And then you're just gonna put it down in a, in a between some wax paper. All right, because you're gonna beat the living bejeebers out of it. All right, and why? Why do you do that? Right, right, right. You don't want to be freaking hammering that thing, and then end up having to meet all over the place. People will think you ended up uh, killing a neighborhood. I thought about that one. Shoot. Yeah. That's a pop. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, no. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, all right. This is my. This is my wife's. God rest her soul. She liked to just use this instead of one of those meat pounders, okay? Because pretty much she looked at me one day and she was a little angry and she says, you know, this doesn't always have to be for the chicken, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So you begin to pound it. Now remember, you want it about, I don't know, quarter inch thick. And you want consistency, consistency. The chicken has to be flat. You want to pound your meat? Buy meat powder. And then if you want to roll it a little bit, roll it. I wouldn't recommend that because it didn't work. But anyway, we'll keep pounding on it, pounding on it. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Are we going to have a nice, nice flat, nice flat piece of chicken over here? Oh, Mama Leone. She'd be proud. That's a beautiful tree breast. Okay, Scorsese. You can shut it down, I gotta have a cocktail. I don't know what I'm talking about. Before moving to the next step, give the chicken a dusting of flour. Alright, so anyway, we got the chicken. This chicken has been pounded nice. Anyway, so then you just, you're gonna cover this with the prosciutto. Lay it on that chicken nice, okay? Remember, a good Italian food is something that's brought from the heart. You don't have to freaking follow a recipe, okay? So we're gonna take it, take a toothpick. Okay, and we're just gonna put it in the chicken like that, nice. All right. Here's a little hint. You got uh, Scorsese. You want to find over here? Take a look. You want to be using the. You want to be using the fucking colored ones. You know why? When you start cooking this fucking chicken, all right, and you get it in the recipe, and you forget to pull that fucking, fucking toothpick out, your buddies are all gonna be walking around like they got the fucking porcupine in them. You know what I mean? And this, believe it or not. From what I've seen, changes the entire dynamic aspect of this recipe. All right, it's very simple, but the prosciutto 
gets a little uh, bacony once it's cooked. You can add more prosciutto if you want, but I'm gonna eat this prosciutto later. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna get myself a little wine and look at that. And I'm gonna have myself some raw prosciutto. And I'm gonna enjoy myself, you know, jacuzzi, me and my meat. You know what I'm talking about? Now there is a little piece of chicken over here and I wanna, don't wanna ignore him. You know, he's gonna get cooked up and I'm gonna feed that to uh, Scorsese. <laughs> Uh, that's part of his feet. So we're gonna get this thing going over here. Remember, remember from the uh, episode of Beans and Greens. Beans and Greens! You got an olive oil, alright? An olive oil with some flavor. So you wanna make sure that this gets a little heated through. Alright, once it gets, that gets nice, that's got some salt, it's got some pepper. Now remember I told you, you can use a little bit of heat if you want. I don't want to use a lot because we don't want to take away from our our, uh, our chicken experience because this is going to be beautiful. So just a little bit of heat. And then we're just going to turn it down a little bit and then we just add the escarole. Oh, uh, hear it? Hear it? Alright. Starts off a little hot. It starts off a little hot. Alright, a little hit the floor. We're going to eat that. We just stir this through. Now we're going to stir it through quick. Hey, remember, if you like us, you can f***ing, uh, you know, subscribe. They call it subscribe. All right, so you get this to wilt a little bit, just a little bit. Now, the problem with escarole is it's so tender that if you let it go too long, it starts to brown, right? So you just get it where it just gets a, cooks a little bit down, and boom, it's done. Escarole complete. That ends up becoming the base, all right? That becomes the greens of your recipe, all right? No big deal. Using a cast iron here, okay? All right. And the reason is, well, it's stinky stuff, all right? Cook outside if you can, all right? And then if you come over here, but we got our prosciutto, we got our uh, fresh sage. Then we're gonna add some olive oil. Only this time, remember, we're just gonna use the regular olive oil, all right? Because we're gonna be frying, okay? So we're gonna be uh, letting the flavors of the of the prosciutto, the chicken. The sage, the salt and pepper, that's going to permeate into the olive oil, which is very important in this uh, in this uh, balance of this uh, uh, recipe, okay? Hey, sexy Sadie, how you doing? Yeah, I know, I know. We'll get you some turkey later, all right? All right, we take a break. The sage, we're going to do the sage in this pan over here, okay? We're just going to get this where it starts to wilt a little bit. These are fresh herbs, okay? They ain't that uh, crap that you get, you know, it has been around for 50 years. This is stuff that's fresh. And then we're going to excavate it, or whatever they call it. Excavate it, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got this baby cooking at about 450 degrees. Now it's, it's prosciutto time. Remember, you're taking the prosciutto, okay? And the prosciutto has to go prosciutto side down. All right, because that's where the flavors get emitted. Plus, you want that to be kind of crispy, okay? That spanks the tongue, all right? And then we're going to make the sauce with the sage, and that creates this beautiful flavor that you're just going to love. Okay? You're going to make love to that sage, you know what I'm talking about? That's just aroma. That's just deliciousness. I'm going to put that out, so throw it over here. I don't know what the hell we're doing. I have no idea. So anyway, we're in the middle of the fry, okay, over here. And now, we're, remember, we're doing the potato. But a lot of people take the skin off, you know. Take all the nutrients and they toss it right in the freaking garbage. Leave the freaking thing on, okay? And that includes mashed potato. Now, this thing is starting to get a nice and crispy, okay? But look at that. Oh. Right? Right? So this went for about 10 minutes. But you want this to just have a little crispiness to it, a little color, okay? You don't have to knock yourself out. So we're going to just do the next thing for about five minutes. Doesn't have to be too, too, too much because remember, it's going to sit in the escarole for a bit while we make our sauce, okay? Hey, that smells pretty freaking good over there! Don't <laughs> so. Here's your feast, Scorsese. I'm taking this off. Okay, so here we go! Remember, all the flavor is going to come from the sage, pepper, salt. And then the chicken stock, remember that? All right, we're gonna do that all right now. And then we finish with the lemon. And we let that cook for a little bit, okay? Because we want it to cook, just marinate the flavors, get all the, I, I'm, 
Mike drooling? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to let that marinate nice, okay? And then we add a white wine, and then we add a butter. And the butter creates a thickness, okay? And we want to just make that thick enough where it just, it just plays around. Now, some people don't like the little chunks from the chicken and all that type of thing. You just go somewhere else and eat. That's what your grandma would tell you. You don't like it? Hey, oh, hey get up. I don't want to swear. Get the f*** out of here. So here we go. We got that delicious sage. All right, that just goes in there. Boom. Oh, oh, you can hear it now. You can hear it sizzle. And then, you want to take a lemon. All right? Oh. I want more flavor, I want more lemon. Lemon goes in there. And then here's the secret, here's the secret. Chicken stock Scorsese. This is delicious, local chicken stock. Now we just do a little pep, a little salt, not a lot. Remember, you don't want to give everybody a blood pressure, you know what I'm talking about? But remember, New York State, they kick the bejeebers out of white wine anywhere in the world. And then we add, I don't know, you know, what you like, right? And then, this is your finish. This is a thickening. This gives that, uh, oh, you hear that? Did you hear that? You did? Scorsese heard that? And then you just stir that butter through there. It sits back and it goes, it's about time you start acting like a chef. Give me a little butter, you know what I'm talking about? Bring it in, Scorsese. And remember, I can use a frickin', I can use something hard on this. This is, this is cast iron. This pan will be here long after you and I are dead. You know what I'm talking about? You let that cook through until it just gets about 25% reduction. Once that happens, boom. Then we'll finish inside the house. And we got ourselves a delicious, delicious meal, okay? You got your sauce over here. Now this, remember, this pan is f***ing hot. This pan is f***ing hot over here. Italian Polish Cooking Channel Productions LLC does not endorse any action that would bring about the touching of anything hot including but not limited to pots, pans, or surfaces of any kind. No touchy hot thingy. And now you're getting ready to finish with the, uh, with the escarole. All right, let's just put that right in there. All right. Let the sauce and the olive oil, just let it go in there. We take the chicken, put it on the top, then pull out the toothpick. You know what I'm talking about? That prosciutto sits back and says, you know what? I'm Italian prosciutto. Remember that sauce? What we're going to do is we're going to just pour the juices now. You know what I mean? Scorsese's going to get this. There's your flavor. There's your beautiness. There's a little bit of sage that comes out. You know what I'm talking about? That's beautiful. And here's the finish. Some fresh, fresh Parmesan. So we're going to let that drizzle on there nice. But I'll tell you what. Once your guests get a hold of this, they're just going to go, Oh my lord, that's so good. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So hey, hope you enjoyed this recipe. You come see us next time for a little bit more food. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, we'll see you later! You want me to stop the recording now? Oh, yeah. <laughs>